Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be learning a bit more about this thing here, sin theta, sin angle. So this part where it says sin, that's a function. So the name of the function is actually sine, but we abbreviate it to be three letters S-I-N, sin. Okay? And what that means is that every time you put an angle into this function, the sine function, it will give you an answer, which is a decimal number. And we find that uh, in year nine, we find it by typing it in our calculator. So let me just label this here. That is an angle. So previously we have said things like, oh, let's find what is the sine of 30 degrees. So you would see sine 30 degrees in a formula and then you would go to your calculator and you would type in, okay, sine 30, see what it equals, it equals the decimal number a half, okay? So I would say, all right, well, sine 30 is half. Uh, what if I had sine two degrees? Sine two degrees, let's work out what that is. I find my calculator, I press sine two degrees, and it gives me a decimal answer like this. And then maybe I would write it down. Okay. Next, what we're going to think is, what if you didn't know what the angle was, but you were told what the sine of that angle equals? So what if I told you that sine of this angle was 0.9, could you work backwards to figure out what angle that is? Now, obviously, you could do it by trial and improvement. You could think, oh, let's see, maybe it's sine 50 degrees. No, too small. Maybe it's sine 80 degrees. Uh, too big. Sine, let's go down a bit. Um, 70? Still too big. So as you can see, this is very tedious. Way too much effort. So what we're going to do is to use the function in our calculator that is the opposite of sine. So we call this the inverse sine function. So let me write this down. So to find this angle, we are going to use the inverse sine function. And on your calculator, the button that is inverse sine is written like this. And on your calculator, you find it by pressing shift and then the sine button. Notice on your calculator and mine, you see a little negative one. So that represents it being the inverse. So now if I type in inverse sine 0.9 and I press equals, this is now the angle. This tells me the angle is 64.2 degrees. Let's see if it works for the other ones. Could I work backwards? If I know this answer here, this decimal answer to sign. Could I work backwards to find the angle? Yes. So shift, inverse sign. I'm going to type in the decimal number 0 0.034899, close bracket, and the answer it gives me should be two degrees. Let's see. Yeah, that's basically two degrees. I've worked backwards to find the angle here. Let's work backwards for the top one. If I type in 0 0.5, it 
into inverse sine. It will give me the answer 30 degrees. And there it is, 30 degrees. So, in conclusion, if you want to find the angle, you have to use the inverse sign. And on your calculator, it's labelled with a negative one. You should see it on yours in there. So, the little orange writing. Okay, well done.